Hi everyone, my name is Tom Watkins with Advanced Upstream and today we'd like to share with you a test of our limitless frack system. In this case we have six entry points for one stage to simulate uh, limited entry plug and perf system. So in the fixture that we have here today we have six sleeves all screwed very close together. In reality these would be separated by by some distance maybe a joint of casing between each uh, entry point. But we have six sleeves. Uh, we have five sleeves initially. These are our limitless cluster sleeves, which will allow the limitless start to land, open them, and initiate a fracture point. And then finally in the fixture, we have our limitless landing sleeve, which will provide zonal isolation from this stage of the frac from the previous stages that we have in the well. So uh, again, we have six sleeves. What will happen is we'll pump our dart through these sleeves. The dart will open the first five ones and be ejected through each sleeve, and then finally land in the sixth sleeve which is at the bottom here and then isolate this stage of the frack from the subsequent stages that we've already fracked in the well. So we'll get over to the other end of the fixture, we'll load the dart and, uh, and get pumping. Okay, so we're going to get ready to actuate our five cluster sleeves and one landing sleeve for six entry points. We'll use our standard limitless dart. So uh, we'll get the guys to open up the fixture, we'll load the dart. We're probably getting to the, the end of the testing, the outdoor testing season. We've got some snow here in Calgary today. But it is a, a rather nice day. So we'll load the dart. Again, the downhole direction in the downhole direction. And we'll, we'll button up the connection and get the pumps going. What we should be seeing for the activation is the first five cluster sleeves sequentially open, followed by the landing sleeve open, and we'll, we'll see that open with a jet of water that's gonna be spraying. So in just a moment, we'll begin pumping. Um, we'll have the truck set up to pump down through the fixture. The dart's going to activate open our first, second, third, fourth, and fifth cluster sleeve, and then finally the sixth and final landing sleeve. So I'm going to get out of the way here, because we're going to get covered in water if I don't, but uh, I'll get out of the way, and then we'll launch the dart, and we'll see our, our sleeves open. So the dart's going to get launched right now, and we should see uh, our sleeves open in just a moment here. So there you can see our six entry points, um, all set up to frack. If this was the case in a well, we'd have one dart isolating six entry points from the previous frack stages in the well. Our, our streams diminish. Um, I think this is a good showcase of how we want to be able to allow the same frack that's pumped with plug and perf, where we have multiple guns creating multiple entry points into the reservoir from the from the casing and still have the efficiency of a, a ball drop situation. So in this case here, we have six entry points in one stage. We could potentially have 40 stages such as this in a well, um, mimic the same fracky pump with plug and perf, but have all the benefits of, of the traditional ball drop, no crane, no wire line, no milling afterwards. You know, there, there's, a, there's no other way to do it in our minds. Advanced upstream, gold, gold standard. standard.